I'm on my way to the Curtis House. It's Connecticut's oldest inn. I'm excited about it because it's supposed to be one of New England's historical gems. There's nothing wrong with being the oldest. Just depends how much Botox you've had. I'm going to be arriving on a big day for hotels and restaurants across America. But there's something I've got to do first. Hello. Hi, Mum. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm just bringing you to wish you Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you so much, Gordon. And your flowers were lovely. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Well, I'm sorry I can't be with you. Thank you so much for calling us. It's really kind of you. Now, listen, have a great day. Love you lots. Love you. Bye. Bye now. Ah, great. Here we are, the Curtis House. Connecticut's oldest inn. Lovely. The Happy Mother's Day sign looks a bit crap, but I suppose it's the thought that counts. Look at this place. Built before 1736. Incredible. Hi there. Gordon, nice to see you. Well, welcome to the Curtis House. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you very much. And what's your first name? Babe. I don't know you're a babe, but what's your name? Shirley. Shirley. Yeah. Nice to see you, my darling. So, it's Mother's Day. The restaurant's booked. Yes. Today's a big day, right? Yes. Is the hotel full? Not tonight. Oh. How many rooms are booked? Just one. Just one? Yeah. Just me? Yes. So I'm a little bit early. OK, usually check-in is 3 o'clock. Three. Oh. And there's usually a $10 an hour fee. That's, what, four hours, so $40 already? Yes. So I could save a little bit of money by hanging out and not yes. actually going into the room? Yes. So I want to save myself 40 bucks? Yes. So if I just take a little nap... What is he doing? Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> That's really not appropriate. Mr. Ramsey. Gordon. This isn't very really appropriate. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, but... I'm joking. But it doesn't make sense. You charge me $10 an hour. If I just hang out on the sofa, get a little blanket, I can save myself some money. You know, this rule actually went into effect about six months ago, this $10 an hour. Oh, really? Thing. And is it making a big impact on the business? People don't like it. The bookings in the rooms have definitely gone downhill. I think they would be a lot busier if TJ didn't have these ridiculous rules. Um, is that right? My details in here, credit card details? Yes, we take a credit card number to hold the room. No, I appreciate that, but why put it in the book? That's the house policy, and if the customer insists, then we can't erase it once they check it. <laughs> I got the credit card details of everybody. I will have to call 911. I don't really have to call 911, do I? Babe, see, by the time you've called 911, OK, I've hacked into every credit card in this book and made myself a fortune. So whose policy is this? A bit weird. This is the house policy, um, wow. like TJ lights it. The owner? Yes. Would you not think there's a security oh, breach there? That's why her policy is no one to look in this book except the desk person. Wow. OK. I can't believe you're going to be in room 16. Why? Because room 16 has a ghost in it. This woman told me who went to room 16. She said the ghost was pulling the blankets off her all night long. And you haven't been drinking sherry? No. Wow. Betty is a ghost at the Curtis house, and people do tell us that. She raises a little bit of havoc with them. She's definitely there. Room 16. The haunted room. My goodness me. <laughs> what is that on there? Is that a footprint? Come on, no way. So what's all that big scuff yes, mark on there? Yes, it looks like a footprint to me. And what's that in there? Dead bugs? Oh, dear. Oh, jeez, look at this one here. I give them a list huh? of the rooms that are coming in. They're supposed to thoroughly check the room. And what's... Do we, do, we, do we have electricity in the house? I couldn't believe what Gordon found in that room. And what is this? Oh. <laughs> Nobody just realized or care. How long have you been working here? Off and on since about 1965. How was it then? Busy all the time. 48 years. That's incredible. So this place means a lot to you. Oh, yes. My second home. Are you connected to the family in any way? TJ's parents and my mother were cousins. So it must be sad for you to see it struggling. Yes, yeah. definitely. And why is it struggling? That's the way our two bosses get along. And was it different when TJ and Chris's parents were running it? Oh, yeah. Much more professional. So why do you stay? And why do you put up with this? I take pride in this place. I like this place. I can see that. I really do, but they don't understand that. The place is really worth it. I really think TJ and Chris are really hurting the business. Somebody needs to knock some sense into them. First impressions, um, dismal. 
all my credit card details downstairs in that book in such a vulnerable position. One of the busiest weekends ever for this hotel with Mother's Day. I'm the only one staying in the hotel. That's, that's not good. Dust everywhere and a windowsill full of bugs. I don't think I'm gonna get possessed staying here. I think I'm gonna get a disease. Right, go downstairs, have a look. Babe, let me out. Honestly, it must be the bloody ghost. Come on, Betty, let me out. I just want to get some lunch. 